What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Bird Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, Bob Arum does an interview. He's claiming that he's want, he's willing and wanting to sit down with um, Al Heyman and the PBC uh, to make a fight between Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence Jr. He says that one thing that's concerning that he said right off the gate to me was that he wasn't interested in making a fight between Danny Garcia and Terrence Crawford or Sean Porter and Terrence Crawford. He says that they're not, those fighters are not on Terrence Crawford level and don't deserve a shot to fight Terrence Crawford. Bob, what are you talking about? That is highly uh, disappointing to hear from Bob Arum, to hear from a promoter, okay? Point blank and period. That's disappointing to hear from a promoter. For one, okay, you could say Danny Garcia came off a loss to Sean Porter, but on the other hand, Errol, Sean Porter is the WBC champion. He's only lost twice. He's lost to um, uh, Keith Thurman, and he's lost to uh, Kel Brook, which were formidable opponents. Sean Porter didn't lose to no scrubs. Sean Porter has a hell of a resume. So how could, how could um, Bob Arum state that they're not on his level? He's the WBC champion. This is highly disappointing to hear from Bob Arum. And it makes it unbelievable uh, that he wants to actually make a fight between Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence. Due to the fact that if you're not recognizing that Sean Porter's the WBC champion, then how could you actually recognize uh, Errol Spence as the IBF champion? So he states that the only guy he sees on the level of Terrence Crawford is Errol Spence. So he's willing to sit down and get a deal done with uh, Al Heyman, Showtime, and PBC to have a fight between Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. So he says that uh, he wants to do a joint, um, as we know, obviously, he wants to do a joint um, promotion, which is obvious. He has no choice but to do a joint promotion. So he says he wants it to be on Showtime and on ESPN. He wants it to be pay-per-view as well. And he want then this this word came up. He said, as long as it's fair. That's alarming. You know, that means negotiations is gonna be a uh, rough sled. Cause he's he already coming out saying that as long as it's, it's fair. So he's already have uh prices and 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 uh obligations and stipulations in mind. Right off the bat, you can tell right off the bat just from the point that he's saying that uh, it has to be fair. You know, um, so this is a few things that Bob Arum had to, had to say, man. And uh, like I said, the the, alarm, the most alarming thing right off the bat was that he wasn't willing to negotiate a fight uh, between Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter or Terrence Crawford versus Danny Garcia. And then, you know, it makes it questionable when Terrence Crawford says, I want all the guys at 147. Well, all the title holders at 147. Well, Sean Porter's a title holder, and your promoter state and stating that he doesn't want the fight between yourself and Sean Porter. Not to mention, Keith Thurman is a PBC fighter. And he's not looking, he's he has no interest in making a fight with Keith Thurman either. So, you know, how do you plan on becoming undisputed at welterweight without fighting those champions? See, this is where Terrence Crawford needs to step up. And uh, uh, make his present known, and 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 stand on his own too. And this is why we stated that you know he we wish that he would have called out Errol Spence after the fight with uh, Jose Benavidez, due to the fact that sometimes you have to stand on your own too, stand on your own square, and make your own demands for your own career and your own legacy. And that's what Terence Crawford needed to do in this situation. I'm going to tell you reason being because your promoter has no interest in you unifying with other champions that's on the other side of the street. Other than Errol Spence, he feels like the only person that deserves a shot at Terrence Crawford is Errol Spence. Sean Porter don't deserve a shot at, at Terrence Crawford. That's highly disappointing. That's alarming. Danny Garcia is a, a two-division um, champion who held the WBC title, who lost it to uh, Keith Thurman, is not worthy of a fight versus Terrence Crawford. Danny Garcia's only loss is to Sean Porter and Keith Thurman. His only two losses were to the now WBC champ. And then the WB, uh, Keith Thurman was the WBA champion. 
And then he, he unified against Danny Garcia for the WBC. And he's not worthy of the title shot? Keith Thurman undefeated is not worthy of a title shot? That's alarming, man. And I mean, not even a title shot because Keith Thurman is a champion. So he's not even, he's not worthy of a shot against Terrence Crawford, who Keith Thurman is more accomplished at welterweight division? This is where we need Terrence Crawford. This is where we need the fighters to stand on their own two uh, uh, demand that their legacy, de demand these legacy fights, demand um, that uh, uh, the to give the fans what they want, and demand to be undisputed champion at welterweight division. Terence Crawford, you was you was undisputed champion at junior welterweight division at the one forty pound. You should want to be like you state all the time that you want to be undisputed welterweight champion. And and to do that. Terrence Crawford, man, if you're watching this, if you're people watching this, man, to do that, you're going to have to fight the PBC fighters because there's, there's no other fight. PBC has all the belts. Sean Porter, PBC fighter, has the WBC. Keith Thurman uh, has the WBA. And, and Errol Spence has the IBF. So you have no choice but to fight all the PBC fighters to get those titles unless you're going to sit around and wait. To, to Errol Spence to, to try and collect all those belts and then try to get them all in one shot against Errol Spence. Well, if that's the case, then you have no plans to fight Errol Spence next. Because then that means that you have to wait until Errol Spence actually faces Keith Thurman and or Sean Porter. So it isn't, it's not possible that you could be looking to fight Errol Spence next if you're looking to be undisputed. So what are you going to do? You're going to just... Because yesterday after the post-fight, Terrence Crawford stated that um, uh, it's up to Al Heyman. I mean, it's up to Bob Arum, whatever his promoters say. So his promoter just clearly stated that he has no interest in making a fight with Sean Porter and Keith Thurman. Only Errol Spence deserves a shot. So I'm confused. And how are you going to become undisputed? Like I said, the only way you become undisputed is you wait till Errol Spence collects those belts from Keith Thurman and Sean Porter, and then you try to get them all in one shot versus Errol Spence. Well, then that 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 shines light on the situation of you wanting to fight Errol Spence next because it's not possible that you can fight Errol Spence next because Errol Spence would need to have at least two more fights before he face you. This is alarming, and this this is disheartening to the fans of the sport of boxing. And I was riding for Terence Crawford. In this situation, I did a, 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 a show with my brother Fanon, International Boxing. Shout out to my brother Fanon. I did a, um, we did a joint show together. I went on his platform and we actually had a debate about this. And I was standing on my square and film saying that Terrence Crawford wants this fight. Bob Aaron wants this fight next. Bo Mac wants, says that they want this fight next. ESPN wants this fight next. I stood on my square. I went to bat for him with this situation. Not that they asked me. Just as a as doing my due diligence as a journalist and doing my due diligence as a fan of the sport of boxing and for the spin, fans of the sport of boxing. And so I, I truly believe that Terrence Crawford wanted this fight next. And it's not looking that way. I think that I was wrong. I think that Terrence Crawford will, will ride the wave and whatever Bob Arum is telling him that needs to be done next. He's just going to go with the flow. I thought he was bucking the system and saying that, listen, I, I, I need that Errol Spence fight next due to the fact that whatever took place when Errol Spence stood on the, the podium and called it, called him out and poked holes in his resume. But that's not looking like that's the case anymore. And, and especially with Bob Aaron coming out and saying that the only fight, only fight he's willing to, to do business with the PBC with is and for is, is Errol Spence. So then Terrence Crawford, you have no plans on becoming undisputed welterweight champion anytime soon. I mean, this is what Errol, this is what uh Bob Aram had to say clearly. He said, I'll talk to, I'll I'll be happy to talk to PBC about putting on Spence, Aram said. To would be more TV about putting together a Spence Crawford fight. We can make a deal because it's pay-per-view event now. It's the same way we did Mayweather Pacquiao. We both HBO and Showtime settled the distribution fee. All that would work be out to work. You all that would be worked out. You can always be, he said you 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 can always say because of this and because of that it can't happen. Aaron said about Crawford versus Spence. 
It's unknown. And then the reporter says, it's unknown if Aram is serious about wanting to make Crawford versus Spence fight at this time. Aram did a lot of talking back in the days with Mayweather Pacquiao, so on and so on. This is what the reporter stated, right? Here it goes. Aram only wants the Crawford versus Spence fight. Um, <laughs> this is crazy. He said, it's not a good thing that Aram doesn't want to put together fights between Crawford and Danny Garcia and Sean Porter. It's it's really disheartening, man, at this point in time. It's just not a good thing, man. Aram is interested in matching Crawford 31 against Premier Boxing Champions fighters. You know, Aram isn't interested in matching Crawford versus against P PBC fighters Danny Garcia and Sean Porter. Aram doesn't see Garcia and Porter as elite fighters, and he doesn't feel that they deserve a fight against Crawford. Unbelievable, man. It's just disappointing, man. But um, that's all I got, man. Drop a comment in the comment section. You can check this article on Boxing Scene. You can check it out on Boxing News 24. Um, it's disheartening, man. But drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think, man. Does Crawford have any plans of becoming an undisputed welterweight champ anytime soon? I don't know. It remains to be seen. But that's all I got. Bob Arum claims that... He Sean Porter and Danny Garcia are in elite fighters and don't deserve a chance to fight Terrence Crawford. But that's all I got, man. It's your boy, Blue Boo Bus Sports TV. Hey, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notification. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Bus Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shouts out to the entire LDBC. Shouts out to New Media. Shouts out to Black Media Row. Y'all already know what it is. Make sure you like and share these videos. It's your boy, Blue. Peace.